Hey crafty friends, this is Anat Kessler, welcome to Saturday Mix Travaganza and today I'm creating a mixed media art journal page. Um, I'm going to start with uh, some masking tape. I have this kind which is about, I don't know, half an inch or something, uh, but that's too um, thick for me, not thick, wide, and uh, so I'm just taping it on my craft. Uh, surface and cutting it in half with a craft knife. I don't care that it's not straight. I just need it uh, smaller in size. Narrower. So I'm going to add these masking tapes on my craft on my art journal page in a grid pattern. Again, I don't care if the lines are not exactly straight. The point is just to create a grid and now the vertical lines and this is a very non-sticky masking tape because later when we remove the masking tape we don't want any of the paper to tear so you can use painters tape or just very low tack um, masking tape so now that my grid is ready, I can go ahead and start spraying. This is going to be a multi-layered page. I'm going to add lots of stuff on this. And this is the first layer, just wiping off the excess of the sprays. And I'm going to add another layer with the same colors. I'm using blue, green, and red. And the point of this art journal is to just work as it as work on it as one page and then remove the masking tape and you'll see what a cool effect you'll get so I've just dried it a little bit with my heat tool and I'm just adding some acrylic paints with my finger uh, if you want you can do this with a brush of course and I just like to work with my finger because I can I have a feeling that I'm controlling the paint much more than with the brush uh, and I think it's not just a feeling it's actually controlling it better uh, plus my fingers are kinda small so I can apply very little amounts of paint and just in the spots that I want so anyway, I'm adding some green and red and a little bit of yellow. And you just, and a little bit of blue as well. You just work on this page without paying any attention to the grid that you have on it, created with the masking tape. Just work on the background, adding as much paint as you want. So there's no real plan here, just to add layers and layers of paint. Once you're satisfied with that. I don't even want to dry this, I'm just going to leave this as it is because I've added, two, I've added a little paint and it dries really quickly. So I'm going to bring in a stencil and some black ink and just add randomly some patterns from my stencil here with the black ink. Of course you can add more colors and this is another stencil that I'm going to use only I'm going to create the pattern here with a sponge and some acrylic paints. And you just add your pattern randomly. I want to add some orange just add them randomly on your spread here I love this stencil love the shape very geometric so I'm just adding here and there you see how the layering is starting to build you just add one layer on top of the other now the good thing about acrylic paint is that it dries really quickly some more stenciling 
Again, this is acrylic. No, this is ink, sorry. This is yellow ink with a finger dauber. Just adding this here and there. And I think this is enough stenciling. And um, I have here some teal ink and a stamp. So now I'm adding more shapes with a stamp. We did spraying and then we did some painting and then we did some stenciling and now we're gonna do some stamping. Uh, this is my black ink. I'm going to add some number stamping randomly here and there. Now this is where I am uh, taking the grid into consideration. I am stamping within the squares of the grid just because these are not very large stamps and I don't want to stamp on the masking tape which I'm going to remove later and then the entire stamp is going to go away with the masking tape. So here I'm just stamping it inside the, the square. Now let's doodle. I love doodling. I'm using some color pencil and just adding random shapes and colors to each square. Not each square, but to some of the squares of the grid. Some yellow circles. Some X's. just want to create a sort of a unique pattern for each square. The fun part about doodling is that you don't really need to think too much. You just take your pencil or your pen and you just start to doodle. And I don't know about you, but sometimes when I talk on the phone, I have a pen or a pencil in my hand and I find a piece of paper and I start to doodle while I'm talking on the phone. Did it ever happen to you? I do this all the time. I get the most amazing um, patterns because you doodle and your mind is not exactly on what you're doing. Only maybe part of your mind is engaged in your doodling and the other part is talking on the phone. So you get really nice patterns. I'm While I'm telling you this, I'm asking myself, why am I not keeping those patterns? And I think I, I will in the future. So uh, adding some shapes with um, a black aquarelle pencil. And I'm going over the lines with the water brush. And... I think I'm going to color in it as well. I like these shapes. Now these are longer, wider, and bigger than the grid, but that's fine. This is the water brush going over the lines of the color and what. I'm just adding stuff. Uh, to my page. Now at this point it looks kind of messy. There is no order. It looks like a big mess on the page. But wait. This is going to be really cool. So I'm just adding some lines, some more circles. You can do this with a pen, pencil. You can skip this um, part altogether if you're not sure and you don't like to doodle. You can add more stamping or more stenciling. I'm just adding more stuff here and there. Some crosses. And I'm taking a little bit of gesso with my finger and adding it to my page, um, my finger is kind of dirty, so I need to clean it up because the gesso is mixed with the 
paint that I have on my finger and instead of being white it gets all kind of muddy colors so now it's better just adding gesso in this case it serves as a white paint as well as um, toning down some of the colors creating another layer of you know half transparent half visible um, art so I'm just drying everything adding a little bit more gesso here and there covering some of the parts some of the patterns that I have making sure everything is completely dry at this point because we don't want any mud we just want colors right so I'm adding pieces of washi tape to some of my squares and again this is something that I'm adding within the grid in the squares because I don't want the washi tape to be removed when I remove the grid some more gesso and I'm going to add another pattern of washi tape I think yes really like this one it has nice circles on them on it overlapping slightly so a little bit more washi tape pieces here and there The mess is, is, don't worry about the mess. This looks very messy, I know. And some dotted washi tape. It looks messy, but there is a reason behind the madness. Just adding some more pieces here and there. And now let's remove the tape. How? cool is that you guys right so now the grid becomes visible because you get those white lines that <coughs> excuse me that divide the entire spread into a grid and suddenly all that mess becomes logical and you get um individual squares I love this this is suddenly each square has a life of its own so I have here some uh, big brush pens to add a little bit of color to the white grid lines I don't want to cover the entire white uh, grid but I just don't want it to be as white so I'm just adding a little bit of color so we'll still be able to see the lines but they will not be as wet. So I'm adding some green, blue, reds, all kinds of colors. I love these pins. While they're still wet you can just smear them they are blending together they're kind of like, like distress inks but then once they're dry they're permanent so really cool tool at least I love it so just adding some more color on the grid lines with my fingers So now each line has a color in it and each square has its own individual pattern because all the layering and all the mixed patterns that we created are now divided by those grid lines. So now suddenly you have little squares of art. So that's really cool. And I'm going to add a sentence that 
I really feel represent this page and I'm going to use some uh, cutout letters that I have as a template as a stencil to draw my letters so I'm going to start from the last letter I have a black pen here you should use a black pen that can write on all of the stuff that we added to the art journal page because we have washi tape and acrylic paints and gesso and sprays and inks and everything so it needs to be a pen that is that you can write on so the it's kinda hard to see with all this paper blocking what I'm doing but basically the sentence is life is made of pieces because it is made of pieces right um life is just a collection of little pieces of memories and of experiences and of people and of images and all those pieces create one big puzzle of of, of life so basically now you get the grid idea right so I'm just finishing with my letter stenciling here and I'm just going to go over the lines of each letter just to make it a little bit bolder and more visible and then I think I'm also going to add some white gesso inside the letters so they will be even more visible and bold so this is they're a bit better now but still they're kind of fading into the background so I just want to make them even more visible and just going to take a little brush and a little bit of gesso and just add color here and there not really painting within the lines just adding another layer of, of white color so the letter will pop out a little bit more off the page so to speak just take a very very small brush or you can use a gel pen um, or you can use um, you can use actual letter and cut letters and with a cuddle bug or use stickers to add the letters to your um, page so I'm going to remove the backing so this is the effect I really love how that worked this be this is really cool I really like it so uh, I hope you like this video I hope it was a little bit inspiring for you and gave you some ideas on to create your own art journaling pages I want to thank everyone for joining me for this video please hit the subscribe button comment or like and thank you guys for joining me I'll see you all next time in our next video tutorial bye you guys